What a long day. Terrorizing that small town really took a toll on my body. <laughs> it was worth it though. The fear really adds to the flavor of the souls of those poor, helpless humans. I've been waiting for that opportunity for months. And now that it's over, I can finally take a long, deserved rest. But first, I should probably revert to a more comfortable form. Ah, much better. Hmm, now that I look at myself, it feels strange being out bare in the open. <laughs> I miss my luscious red skin. Oh, and my cute pointy little tail. <laughs> I almost forgot how good I look when I'm in my natural form. <laughs> what a nasty little devil you are. No wonder those hell spawns are all over you. <laughs> Well, that's enough fawning over myself. I should probably head to bed before I pass out. Ah, uh, finally reunited with my comfy little bed. Hmm, it feels kind of strange. My pillow feels larger than usual. And warmer? Wait a second. Ugh, out of all times. What is a human doing in my room, laying in my bed? What? This is your bed? Excuse you. If you had proper functioning eyeballs, you would clearly see that you're trespassing inside my domain. Can't you see the blood-red wallpaper and extravagant decor I've done in this place? Wait, where are you going? I'm still talking to you. Oh, mm. well, with the lights on, this certainly doesn't look anything like my room. Ugly decor, by the way. Well, this is kind of embarrassing for me. I should probably kill you. Why? Because you've embarrassed me. Someone such as I shouldn't be put in this kinds of predicament. I'm a demon of the higher ranks after all. If anyone finds out about this, well, let's just say I wouldn't hear the end of it. Gossip spreads like wildfire down there in hell. No pun intended. Well then, if you'd be kind to stay still while I suck the life out of you, that would be great. Okay, darling? Now let me have a taste of you. Oh, what is it now? You don't want to die? Well... That's kind of contrary to the things you've been posting online, am I right? What? You don't think I can read your mind? You've done nothing but waste your time staring at your computer, telling strangers on the internet that you want your life to end. But now that I'm offering to give you that chance, you're backing out? I expected nothing from a low life such as yourself. Cowering at the face of death. You humans are really helpless. You spend all of your life not knowing what you want to do, where you want to go, and then regretting your decisions at the end of it. <laughs> well, enough chit-chat. I'm really, really tired. I don't want to spend another minute conversing with the likes of you. So, if you'll excuse me, I'll be using your bed to my advantage for tonight. You wouldn't mind, would you, darling? Great. 
That's what I thought. I, I would have stabbed your head in a second if you said no. <laughs> oh. hmm. Your bed is comfy. Not as much as mine though. But I guess this will suffice for tonight. I am very awfully tired. Hmm? What do you want now, you pesky human? What? You want to share the bed with me? Are you actually insane? If you haven't noticed, our kind do not exactly mix well together. And now you want us to lay in bed? <laughs> what? You just want to experience sleeping with somebody. Oh, alright. I'm not one to lie, but that's pretty sad. So pathetic that uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'll allow you to do it. Just cause I'm exhausted. And don't have the energy to argue. Now are you gonna stare at me like I'm some kind of monster? Or are you gonna come here and lay down so that we can both rest? Good. Now I want you to stay perfectly still. You will be acting as my pillow for tonight. What? Is that a problem? Why, yes, I do need it. I need to cuddle something for me to fall asleep. It's a habit I've had since I was young. You shush. I don't want to hear anything from someone who's never felt the warmth of another being before. What? I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> and sometimes... The truth can sting. I'm just joking, by the way. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Some people are just really, really late bloomers. Besides, all you humans are equal in my eyes. Or rather, all humans taste the same to me. Hmm? Oh, you're curious about my love interests. <laughs> well, I don't want to brag, but I've been with all sorts of creatures. Demons, vampires, wolves, and occasionally a human would come by and pique my interest. I never settle for anyone, of course. No one has ever really made me feel loved. And I don't plan on being with someone for too long anyways. It would be a hassle with my kind of lifestyle. Do I believe in love? <laughs> what kind of questions are you asking me? Do I look like someone who believes in those things? I kill and eat souls to survive. I'm probably the worst being you've come across in your whole life. Um, are you actually enjoying this? Are you not even the slightest afraid of me? You know I can hear what you're thinking, right? And your thoughts are telling me that you find me very, very attractive. Oh, I get it. You're some kind of masochist, are you? You like the feeling of being inferior to, well, an attractive being such as myself. 
You know, you sort of amuse me. I killed just to survive, but you've actually weirded me out. N no, no. Darling, that's not what I meant. You're actually not that bad. I didn't mean what I said. Why don't you just come closer so I can make you feel better? There, there, darling. Feels good, right? <laughs> Cuddling is a good way to relieve stress. And frankly, I think that's what we both need right now. Hmm? You have a request. What is it, darling? Oh, you want to see more of me? Of my demon form? Well, you're certainly not the first one to ask me that. I can be the object of your nightmares. The demon who devours your dreams while you sleep. <laughs> Satisfied? <laughs> I don't even need to read your mind to figure out you enjoyed that. Oh, you found that hot. <laughs> You're quite funny for a human. I like that. I like things that keep me entertained. <sighs> I guess that's the reason why I can't keep anything for long. Because things will eventually bore me. What's that? You'll allow me to come here whenever I feel like it. <laughs> it's funny how you think you have some sort of authority over me. I do as I please. I don't follow anyone's order and... I most certainly don't need permission from the likes of you. But that is a generous offer, human. You're kind. Not entirely pure. But you're certainly not evil like me. If you just keep being yourself, you're bound to find someone out there who'll take an interest in you. What? Me? Am I interested in you? <laughs> You're certainly testing my boundaries, human. Well, I don't really know the answer to that yet. Sure, you're unique from all the other humans I've encountered, but I don't know if you're ready to be with someone like me. Would you be comfortable knowing that you're in a relationship with someone who devours your kind? Who preys on those who are weak and afraid of night crawlers such as myself? <laughs> that was a quick answer. I don't know if you're just really into me or if you're just stupid. Or maybe... A little bit of both. I'll think about it. But for now, would you like to inch closer and cuddle with me? Why don't you lay your head against my chest? Very observant. We demons don't have any heartbeat. It makes me wonder if that also means we're incapable of love. <laughs> Will you be the one to prove me wrong, I wonder. <laughs> You're quite adorable when you blush. Now hush, darling. It's awfully late in the evening. I'll just end up boring you if I keep up this idle chatter. Now relax, and just focus on my breathing. 
until sleep overcomes you.